Virginians concerned about rising prices is pushing for state lawmakers to address these issues during their ongoing session. News the reporter Brendan Ponton joins us now. So, Brendan, what kind of things do they want to see? Well, a big one is paid sick leave, but they also think the state could do more to address the costs of prescriptions, including insulin. Stories of struggle. Living paycheck to paycheck. Uh, that means that I live file to file. Do we pay our bills or do we take care of ourselves? Today, a group shared their personal stories of trying to make ends meet with lawmakers in the hope Virginia lawmakers will pass measures to help during their General Assembly session. It was organized by a group called Freedom Virginia, a grassroots group pushing for change in Virginia. Josh Hayes is a college student in Richmond who's from Virginia Beach. He says he has a job at a cafe but struggles to pay all of his utility bills. I'm terrified of getting sick. Absolutely petrified of getting COVID because if I'm out of work for that amount of time, I don't know how I'd be able to support myself. Another man named Chris has type 1 diabetes and has difficulty affording insulin. Now I'm paying a higher premium than anyone else in my family. Brian Casey recalled a time when he had to show up to work sick to a butcher shop because he did not have paid time off. I cannot truly regret my choice because it was made for me. I needed to pay my rent. And now there are several bills in the General Assembly that could help. For example, House Bill 591 aims to increase efficiencies in drug reimbursement programs to lower prescription prices. House Bill 1054 would prevent utility companies from turning off someone's service due to non-payment in a state emergency or some other kind of disaster declaration. House Bill 1160 would require employers at jobs like home health care workers and grocery stores to offer paid sick leave. Lawmakers are still in session for just over six more weeks as these bills are debated and negotiated. So we need to ensure paid sick days. We have to make sure that affordable prescription drug costs are there. And then while the, our employees are back home with their families, we have to make sure that high utility rates come down. Now, another bill that would have created a state board to oversee prescription drug prices has been continued over into next year's session. And lawmakers will continue to work through these details before the session ends on March 12th. And we'll, of course, keep you updated if any of these bills make it to the next level to eventually become law. I'm Brendan Ponton, News 3.